Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Sankrit Tartle and in this episode I want to see how much experience I can get, how much is possible, what's the absolute maximum of experience farming, especially now that we have double experience weekend and lunch boxes are available and everything else that recent patch bring to us. Then I have one new patron that I want to welcome, it's QQWAD. Welcome into Tartus Army. Thank you, I appreciate your support. And now, let's farm some experience. After I try and we'll see how much I'm getting, we will, of course... Oh, someone is actually killing super mutants. But that's okay. We'll, of course, go and... I will show you everything that I'm using and then you guys will tell me if it's absolute maximum or if there is something that I'm missing. But as you can see, I'm getting a lot of experience from those kills. That's like a crazy amount of experience. Look at that, I just get 1800, but it was more than one kill, I think. Or was it? Let's see inside. And yes, I already did multiple guides about farming experience more than once, but I never did something like that. I never actually tried to go for the maximum. Wow. See, see, can you see those numbers? There is no glitches. I'm not cheating. This what this is exactly what you can achieve. Look at that. Two and a half thousand experience per one super mutant kill. And it's really fast. Look how fast I can deal with them and how much experience I'm getting. Look at the... Wow, that's, that's actually better than I expected. First I was thinking that this two and a half thousand was like accumulation from two kills. Not from one single kill. But that's even better. And uh, by the way, I'm on, the, on regular adventure server and people that are in my building team, I don't know them. Then I'm not cheating. I'm trying to have experience that everyone can have. Look at that. Look at that score farming. And reload. Yeah, I have really fast reload. And this is a vampire LMG. Why vampire? That's basically I don't want to be worried about dying. I have a lot of ammo that I farm and I can just use it now. There is no reason to keep it for who knows how long. Then I'm not worried about dying. There is like almost impossible to kill me when I'm running with vampire light machine gun. And this reload, that's insane. That reload is insane. I actually invested in reload, not in damage. Uh, this guy is killing my super mutants. You see, this is a normal adventure server. I have competition. But on private server, I will lose all those bonuses that I can get unless I will go for like a bunch of friends that will be just sitting there to be on my building team. But I'm on adventure server and experience is really, really insane. Look at that, like I can level up so quickly and I'm getting score after every like five kills. Four to five kills and I have score. Where are those super mutants? Get out. Look at that. The score is jumping up all the time. More super, more score. Just like that. The important part, if you want to get experience and focus on that and use all those buffs that do not last forever as much as you can, uh, you need to give up on looting. You need to just shoot and kill stuff. No looting really. And as we are looking on the map, I will give you some tips like good place for experience. Hunter's Vile, West Tech, National Isolated Radio Array, you can visit a general steakhouse. All those places have super mutants, a crevice dam, super mutant as well. If not super mutants, aim for crowded places with ghouls like Barrows, Golf Club, a Charleston Capitol building. If you loot everything and you don't want to jump server, go after fissure sites. 
fusion sites are really good, uh, mainly because they out in the open. What basically means if you have a good ranged weapon, you don't need to get close to every mob. You can just kill them from whenever you are. Come back, Scorch Beast. Where's the Scorch Beast? Ah, yeah, there is a downside of the Scorch Beast. They like to do that. And then you cannot do really too much about it. But we still have Scorch. And Scorch are not as great. Come on. It's one and a half thousand. That's, I say, not as great. Not as great compared to anything else, but they are great if you take into consideration what you normally will get from them that's it i will loot this legendary can't resist can't resist legendaries unfortunately my accuracy is not great as i do have twisted muscles okay let's see if we have any ghouls in here and how much experience can i get from ghouls with all those buffs and boosts. Anyone home? Yeah, they here. Seven. I think I level up. <laughs> I already level up. Look at that. I don't need to aim too much. That's like machine gun. You can just fire. Reload takes nothing. Wow. <laughs> this is like... I feel like leveling up from beginning of the game. It almost feels like cheating. Hopefully Bethesda will not ban anyone who is actually using only in-game mechanics without any cheating. A score that I'm getting from this method, yeah, that's basically crazy. Crazy amount of score. Oh, Freestar. I need to loot him. Yeah, Freestar, that's exception. Legendaries that I will loot. <laughs> I'm on the way to another level up. Like, I, I'm in a golf club. I'm level 458. Imagine doing that on low level. And it's fast. The important part of this strategy is being fast. Without paying too much attention to my health, to anything else. Only rats that I... Oh, glowing one. How much from him? Over 2000. I'm looting again. I shouldn't be looting. I shouldn't be looting. Don't loot, guys. If you want main experience, do not loot. Kill everything and carry on and kill more stuff. Oh, there is a sentry bot. Let's see. Sentry bot. Will he give me 4K? 4K. And if you do not know, 4K is the maximum. Oh, my game crashed. It was too much. And now I will just complete one of my dailies and I think that will be enough of a showcase. Uh, everyone, I think everyone got the point of what I'm trying to show you. And of course, you don't need to go as crazy for experience build as I did it, but I just, I just couldn't resist. I will show you what I did with my main character. I just couldn't resist. Okay, let's load it and just do this daily. And look at that experience from this daily. Okay, show me the experience. I'm guessing it will be 4K. Because 4K is a cap for experience from whatever single activity, like killing an... Uh, oh, it's 6,000. The cap is boosted. I never got 6,000 from a daily. Looks like cap is boosted. Used to be 4K, now 4K is still for kill. When did they change it? I was sure it would be 4K. It's 6K. That is good to know. Okay, now I promise that it will show you what I'm doing with my build. Then here we go. I'm on the building team. Uh, soon it will be plus four intelligence like it was at the beginning. I have leader bubble head in action. Other 5% for to my experience. There is double experience weekend at this moment. If you are watching it later, then you will lose half of the experience. Then I have live and laugh magazine number eight. 5% experience in a team. Lover Embrace, that's from sleeping, another 5% experience. Then I have Very Well Rested, that's the experience buff 
from lunch boxes. Four lunch boxes gives you 100%. Doesn't matter who opened them, you just need to be close to the person opening, or it can be couple person opening lunch boxes to save on them. Then I have brain bumps, seven and half intelligence. Uh, that's because I'm herbivore. It's why I'm using cranberry relish and brain bumps. Cranberry relish is 25% experience and I'm running tattoo salad uh, to make sure I will not die. That make me, make me even more tanky. And tattoo salad is awesome food for herbivore. Although the recipe is available only during midweek. Therefore, do not miss incoming midweek if you do not have tato salad recipe. It's awesome. On top of everything, I have very important mutation, Egghead, that gives me 8 intelligence. I have as well Health Mentality, plus 3 to all my special when grouped. Was insane. I didn't actually use, I think, my serum for my super run out and I'm losing 1. Normally, you can just eat fresh serum and this will remove this minus one to your intelligence. And my special, intelligence 67. No glitches, 67 intelligence. Oh, I know what I forgot to use. I supposed to use berry mentats again. They run out. Yeah, let me, let me pop berry mentats. And now my intelligence is 72. Let's see if there is any more ghoul. Okay, I'm fully stuck again. Yeah, level 62 ghoul. Two and a half thousand. Oh, I would miss this legendary if I will not check this place. <laughs> it's good that I forget to use the berry mantas again. Okay. <laughs> the amount of experience is just crazy. Yep. I almost have another level during the recording and it's short video. All right, then 72 intelligence and berry mentats last me for 12 minutes and I will go into why it lasts so long. Did I show you everything? I think so. Then that's my effect stab. I hope I didn't miss anything because I was trying to focus really hard to use every possible buff. If I miss anything, I know you guys will let me know in the comment section, but now let's go into my gear. If you are interested in the weapon I was using, that's a vampire light machine gun. The important part for me, it comes with faster reload. Then I have speed demon for faster reload. I have this for faster reload and I have perk. I will go into perks in a second. My armor, it's a mix on different unyielding armor pieces, but they have uh, one thing in common. Every single piece is with plus one intelligence, plus one intelligence, plus one intelligence, plus one intelligence, plus one intelligence every single piece that I have equipped, plus one intelligence. Then that's five intelligence on top of unyielding, that's give me 15. That's a 20 intelligence from armor, but that's not everything. Wait a second. Yes, I have a casual under armor that's shielded. I actually bought it from other player. I'm struggling to unlock a shielded for casual under armor, then I cannot craft it myself, but it gives me another free intelligence. And we're done with gear. Uh, I should probably mention that I'm using armor plated backpack to be more tanky. Now the special. As you can see, I'm running 15 base intelligence. I'm not saying you should, but I couldn't resist to go all in for maximum experience farming build without any glitches. Then I have 15 base intelligence. What else is important? Uh, under strength, uh, this is lock and load. This is the pack that I'm using to reload my LMG. This insanely fast. Then under perception, I have additional free intelligence from 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. What's really handy. Then next important perk. I only will uh, mention perks that are important to farm more experience. This one double up my camps. What's meant? Berry mentats will last twice as long. Oh, I forgot. My chest piece is equipped with Biocom Mesh. This one increases duration of camps by 50%. And then on top of that, there is Camp Fend. Another 100 would mean 150% increased duration of camps. It's why berry mentats, instead of 5 minutes, last 12 and a half minutes. 
Then under Charisma, I have Inspirational for extra 15% experience. And then Intelligence, there is basically whatever you want. If you have 15 Intelligence, then you can equip basically everything. But I'm just running Gunsmith to increase uh, durability of my weapon and Nerd Rage to give me a little bit more damage and survivability at very low health. Agility is just carry weight and more resistance and important under luck. I'm running class freak as I don't want negative effects of mutations, especially empath. I'm running empath then with class freak is actually helping me and giving me as much of a bonus as lone wonder as long as I'm on a team. Good with salt. That's an important one. This allow my cranberry relish to last all weekend. I don't need to craft any new cranberry relish. And I have curator. This allows me to save on bubble heads. You notice my bubble head uh, had one and a half hour left on it. And normally bubble head is only one hour. That's thanks to the curator. It's just one point and it doubles up bubble heads. That if you are going to use bubble heads for experience, definitely toss in curator. Just one point and so much savings. And that's how insane experience gain can actually go if you spec for it. If you need more guides about farming experience, then I do have them on my channel. They are still up to date. Uh, only thing that changed is that we have actually higher boosts now than they were in the past when I was doing those videos. In one of them, I said that cranberry relish is not the most important because it's just 5% extra versus cranberry cobbler. This one part is outdated because cranberry relish with herbivore is now 25% or tasty squirrel if you are carnivore if you are or tasty squirrel if you are carnivore another 25% but for carnivores they do not stack then always use the best food bonus for experience don't use inferior ones go for those that give you 25% Oh, and why is 25%? I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Under Charisma, I'm using Strange in Numbers. Then when I'm on a team, my mutations are 25% stronger, what applies to herbivore and carnivore. What means that my cranberry relish, instead of 20%, is giving me 25. That's a lot. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I hope you enjoy that. And as always, thank you a lot for watching. And see you guys in the next one.